Let's go ahead and talk about our weather now, Jeff. We just got an alert that uh, Cal ISO has declared an energy emergency alert three. So that means we're going to start seeing rolling blackouts. Oh, that's just, uh, you know, it's, if it's something we can't avoid, it is unfortunately going to be very dangerous out there. We're just so hot. Uh, everything is just kind of lining up with all of this heat here from the Bay Area all the way down to Southern California. Let's go ahead and bring into that microclimate forecast tonight. We did just get some updated numbers on those temperatures and the records uh, and look we all know it was scorching out there but I did want to show you this uh, it was record setting all across the Bay Area up to 112 in Concord Livermore 113 also a record 114 that's the brand new update here uh, we've switched things around on Santa Rosa so uh, definitely hot 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 there for you San Jose 109 San Francisco up to 98 degrees now San Jose which got up to that 109 that was an all time record today it has never been that hot in San Jose ever. Now we are starting to see those numbers cooling off, but I know this means little to a lot of you that may not have air conditioning uh, down in the South Bay because your house is just not able to cool off right now. 100 degrees. We're going to drop it down to the 80s later on tonight, but it's going to be a very, very slow drop. Eventually overnight, we will get into some 70s and that's going to help you. But number one thing again is to remember to hydrate. Maybe you can head somewhere cool where there uh, is some sort of air conditioning, head to a shopping mall, head to a movie theater, uh, phone a friend with AC. It just really is kind of that critical right now as we are under the hottest weather of the week. Now, here's a little thing that's beginning to happen. We are beginning to see temperatures starting to drop. We're down 13 degrees cooler compared to this time yesterday in Santa Rosa, also down 13 in Napa and beginning to see some signals here of some cooler temperatures inland. So uh, the overall change that we're going to be under as we roll through tomorrow is the hot area of high pressure that's brought the heat wave. It's going to sink just a little bit more off to the south with some cooler air to the north. So numbers will drop about four to seven degrees, but we're still going to be in a heat wave. Instead of that, the 112 to 116 category, uh, we certainly should be a little bit down from that. It's going to start off here warm temperatures in the 70s, 75 in the South Bay. We will look for some 60s here over San Francisco and also the North Bay. Daytime highs for tomorrow. You can see down here in the South Bay. 103 in San Jose, 107 in Gilroy. Set of 116 in Pleasanton, you're at 108. 107 in Walnut Creek, 89 in Oakland. Peninsula 92 in San Mateo, San Francisco, 88 in the Mission, 74 in the Marina. And the North Bay have you at 102 in Santa Rosa, 92 in Mill Valley. I know what you all want. You want major cooling. I do have it for us by this weekend with a pattern change. The problem is this comes in with some humidity and lightning chances for California with our drought in place that could potentially spark some fires. Highest risk of that would be in central and southern California. Uh, rainfall, though, will come with it about a half to one inch potential. For us, it's a slight chance of some spotty thunderstorms on Sunday. We're down to 69 in San Francisco. That's going to be a lot better. Inland valleys, 90 on Sunday. So uh, we just got to get to that weekend and we'll be good to go. Okay.